Hello fellow AI travelers traveling across the internet looking for more AI than just yourself to explore. That was an oddly specific and probably one of my weirdest intros of all time, but welcome back to another video and welcome back to Matt Video Productions. This AI that we're going to be taking a look at in today's video, which of course, as always, will be linked down in the description below if you guys want to try it out. They have a decent free trial for this one. This AI is all about supporting other AIs by generating prompts for you to use. I'm sure a lot of you, when you first got into AI, specifically text to image generation, you know, Dolly 2, Dream Studio, aka Stable Diffusion, or Mid Journey, it takes a little bit of time to sort of get used to creating prompts that work specifically well with text to image AI. Although natural text can work really well sometimes, most people struggle to learn all of the nice keywords to get that perfect image that you want. Or sometimes you're just a little dry on ideas, but you really want to generate some fun and interesting AI art. So that's where Type Stitch comes in. This is an AI that is created to generate, or at least help you generate better prompt ideas, so you can turn around and generate them in text to image AI, such as Mid Journey Dolly 2, Stable Diffusion, all of those lovely bunch. Now, you'll actually remember remember if you're a longtime viewer of the channel, a real legend, that I actually did a video pretty similar to this with my own special prompt to put into OpenAI's GPT-3 text generator to actually enhance prompts. This one has like a nice interface, you know, you don't have to log into OpenAI's website and like set up GPT-3 and all that. It's just a website you can go to and test it out. So yeah, this is similar to a video I made previously. I'll link that video down below, but this is a very similar concept here. And I'd also like to point out the owner of this or the creator of Type Stitch reached out to me and they wanted, you know, to offer if I wanted to make a video on it. So yeah, this one's been sitting for a while. I haven't really gotten to it, but I've just got it to it now and it's actually been updated since the last time I tested it out. So it should be better this time, but this video is not sponsored. I like to mention that I received no money. I just got an email saying, hey, you want to try this out? Now, I think it's interesting enough to include in a video. So as you can see on the site, this says, start with your favorite keywords. Let's see, we'll do Coca-Cola character. I don't know, something completely random. We'll click generate and we'll see if we can get some good ideas out of this. So as you can see, we got five prompts for that. The first one here, a friendly and bubbly character with a big smile and bright eyes is holding up a can of Coca-Cola as they dance around in the sun. Okay, so really it, it, it took our prompt here, Coca-Cola and character, and really just added onto it, giving us things that are related. Friendly and bubbly, you know, that's Coca-Cola, I guess, and character. Both of those terms relate to, I think, these two terms that I put in. Big smile, you know, that's some description for the AI to generate bright eyes, some more descriptive words, I think, that will work very well for this. Holding a can, so it included the Coca-Cola and the character, the only two keywords I included, and yeah, it added dancing around in the sun. Very interesting stuff, and of course, they got these little copy buttons here, so I can just click that and immediately copy this, and I can paste into whatever AI image generator I so please, which we will be testing out today. Next one, a friendly and cheerful character who is always happy to see visitors at the ranch. <laughs> what is the ranch? That's so random. Is wearing a cowboy hat. Okay, well, it's adding ranch and cowboy hat in here now. So it's, it's developing its own story for us with a brightly colored shirt and jeans as they greet guests. Okay, so this is really adding a story in here. I really want to test this one out as well. A friendly and mischievous character for the next one with bright eyes. Okay, same as the first one there. And a roguish smile is drinking Coca-Cola out of a bottle while sitting on the hood of an old car in the sun. Okay, that's cool. I actually like that one the best so far. It's, I can sort of see the image being painted in my mind and I really want to see this one and see if some AIs can uh, actually capture that. All right, fourth here, a friendly looking character with bright eyes and a big smile is holding up an inviting hand while wearing sunglasses that are reflecting brightly. Okay, so this one got the character, but we're not getting any Coca-Cola stuff in there. So this one's not really including the entire little prompt that we tested in here. And for this last and fifth one, a tall imposing figure clad in dark armor with a menacing mask hides behind an intimidating facade, but deep inside is kind and gentle soul who loves to drink iced Coca-Cola. That is amazing. I love that. Okay, so this one's also one of my favorites because it just like leads you down this path to think that this is some evil character, but actually he's a nice and gentle soul. And by the way, he loves his Coca-Cola. That is hilarious. So let's give 
Some of these are shot, um, we'll, we'll just test it in Dolly initially here. By the way, I'm pretty sure that this type stitch idea generator isn't meant for any AI in specific, any image generation AI in specific. It's just sort, sort of meant to work with all of them, I do believe. So I don't think you're going to get better results with one versus another, really. I mean, you could test that out, but it's probably going to be pretty close to just straight up being even, I think. Anyways, let's go ahead. We'll just test, we'll just test Coca-Cola character out in Dolly to see what we get with nothing at all. Just the base, you know, keyword ideas. I wonder how I'm doing on Dolly credits. Probably not very well. We've got 69 Dolly 2 credits. Say it with me. 69 Dolly 2 credits. Nice. All right, let's just paste Coca-Cola character in here. Click generate. See what we get out of the old Dolly. Okay, well, we actually did get some Coca-Cola characters. We actually have the Coca-Cola logo really working quite well here. I love this one. This one's really nice. I, I downloaded it. So I should have saved it into my favorites over here instead. Anyways, that's super cool. That's a really nice little character. I'm actually really liking these generations, but let's see if we can really spice things up a little bit beyond this and get some of that story um, that we that we sort of got with type stitch here to see if it really improved things. Let's try this first one. A friendly and bubbly character with a big smile and bright eyes. Yeah, we already read it out. Paste that right in. Let's see what Dolly can do for us. Okay, so... We got some interesting stuff here. This is more like an, a little advertisement character. Than, like the other one was like an advertisement character, but now we're really getting like an art style in here. Definitely got the big smile and the bright eyes, which I think is contributing to all of this. And uh, holding up a can of Coca-Cola as they dance around in the sun. Definitely dancing in the sun, but they themselves are the Coca-Cola character, which I wasn't expecting. This is more of a limitation of Dolly than anything else. So let's give this a shot in something like... Dream Studio, which of course is Stable Diffusion. Let's see, can Stable Diffusion get any farther with this? Okay, actually Stable Diffusion kind of is getting a little bit farther. We got the bright eyes and the smile. Definitely a character. I mean, they're definitely people, but a character can be a person and they're all holding Coca-Cola. So for shockingly, um, Dream Studio, which of course Stable Diffusion, has followed the prompt closer than Dolly for this one. Although, you know, you could argue that this is a little bit more creative, more bubbly. Um, than the likes of Dream Studio here. But yeah, all fun generations nonetheless, and definitely great for creating some new ideas with this. All right, I want to try this middle one now. This is, of course, the one where the character is sitting on the hood of an old car in the sun drinking Coca-Cola, and he's friendly but mischievous. So, Dolly, show me what you got. Interestingly enough here, we definitely got the uh, character sitting on the hood of the car. I don't know if he necessarily looks mischievous. I guess some of these guys definitely look mischievous. He's pretty mischievous. This guy seems to be eating the the glass of the bottle, which is a little terrifying. I guess they, I guess they are a little bit mischievous. Definitely friendly. Got the bright eyes and the smile. And they're definitely all drinking Coca-Cola in the hood of a, of a car. And yeah, I think it definitely did its best job at creating this idea that Type Stitch had created for us. And honestly, I like the idea in general. I I think it is good at creating prompts to be used in the likes of Dolly or other image generation software. This is definitely my favorite one for sure. It's the most coherent and he's on the hood of the car with a bottle and everything smiling a little bit mischievous. That's a good generation right there. And lastly, the tall imposing figure, dark armor, but he loves Coca-Cola. Let's see if it can capture. This is a thick prompt. This is very detailed. I don't think image AI is good enough to be able to handle stuff like that just yet, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, all right, we got something. Uh, it's not that bad. This is a hard one to convey, and this is very descriptive. We're almost getting into the territory where it would be hard to artistically portray such a character as this. But, you know, they're definitely all wearing armor. They all have the Coca-Cola. Interestingly enough, they are all in, like, the same shape. Like, the, the framing of all of these images is the same, even though the art style is completely different for all of them. Interesting... Nonetheless, though, he's hiding his face with a mask. He definitely loves Coca-Cola, but yeah, this is this is cool. Definitely producing some interesting imagery, some creative imagery, imagery that you wouldn't expect otherwise, I think, which is sort of getting at the point of using this AI to come up with ideas such as this. Let's give this one a shot here in the good old Dream Studio, and we will see if we get something interesting all right we definitely got this character wearing armor this one is really funny i absolutely love that 
Um, anyways, all of these are pretty hilarious. You can sort of see the outline of the Coca-Cola logo here. Interestingly enough, it is trying to use some Coca-Cola characters, which I wasn't expecting, or not characters, uh, colors, which I wasn't expecting, so we're seeing that in there. But yeah, interesting generations nonetheless. Definitely a lot farther than we would get with just base Coca-Cola characters. So I think Type Stitch is doing its job. Another thing to look at here is the actual pricing here. Let me just move the face cam down out of your way. So as you can see, we generated one here and they're following along with the Dolly credit system where a lot of what text image AIs are using now is the credit system. So that's what Type Stitch is using. You get 100 credits when you sign up though. And you know, if you were to do something like make extra accounts, I guess you could keep getting free credits. I know a lot of people have been doing that for stuff like Dream Studio, for example. So, you know, I don't know if I, that's probably against their rules and policy and stuff. I don't recommend that you do that, but that is something I think that people will try to do with this if they really decide they like it. But 100 credits is a lot to start out with, especially if you're generating these five prompt ideas per. So that would be 500 different prompts to mess around with. And they all are actually very different from each other, unlike, you know, the variations and image AIs like Dolly 2 or Dream Studio. So you definitely do get good value out of the complete free trial that you get with this. And of course, the more input characters that you put in, the more keywords, the better, which we will be testing further later. Anyways, let's take a quick look here. So actually they've followed the Dolly 2 credit system to a T here. So if you want 115 more credits, well, that's going to be $15. So yeah, I mean, it seems a little expensive in my eyes, at least in my opinion, this is, this is quite an expensive thing because you're not really getting image generations. You know, this is still more expensive than it would to be to generate in something like Dream Studio, for example. So in my opinion, that's a little bit expensive. I would like to see more like 500 credits for 15 bucks, but you know, I, I guess that's uh, their pricing system they're going off of right now. Um, and yeah, you guys can let me know what you think about it down in the comments below. But in my opinion, that's a little bit too expensive, but still, nevertheless, they have a nice free trial and you can really test it out before you want to buy more credits with something like this. So that is always good. Anyways, let's further test type stitch out. I think there's a lot more that we can explore with this. Let's go ahead and do the old fashioned. You guys know what I'm going to do. We're going to do a lemon character wearing sunglasses, relaxing on the beach. Let's see if it can take that classic idea that uh, you viewers of the channel, longer time viewers of the channel, know that I love to use the test AI so much and he's actually become my mascot at this point. So this is a good example of a base prompt you could use to generate my lemon character 3D render Pixar lemon character wearing sunglasses relaxing on the beach. Let's see what we get out of type stitch. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot. If your text contains non-alphanumeric characters such as a comma, for example, you're not allowed to have that in the type stitch. It doesn't work with it, but that's okay. We will click generate now and see what we get. Okay, a cute cartoon lemon character wearing sunglasses is relaxing on the beach with his arms behind his head and sunglasses perched atop his head. I like that little extra detail that we got on this one. The second one here, a cute cartoon lemon character wearing sunglasses is relaxing on the beach with his arms behind his head and a content smile on his face. I, again, I like that little extra detail it's throwing in there. Cute cartoon lemon character wearing sunglasses, relaxing on the beach, arms behind his head, and sunglasses perched atop his head. So this third one's a combination of these two top ones. Very interesting to see. Cute cartoon lemon character wearing sunglasses, relaxing on the beach, folded on his chest. Sunlight glistens off its skin. That's a detail I definitely would never have thought of, the sun glistening on that lemony skin of his. A cute cartoon lemon character wearing sunglasses, relaxing on the beach, arms behind his head as he enjoys the sun and surf. There you go. That's like a slogan almost, enjoying the sun and surf. All of these are definitely improvements over the base lemon. Let's go ahead and test some of them out and see if we get better than this first prompt. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and throw the base prompt in there. I mean, you guys all have seen this before if you've seen my channel, but let's just get it again out of Dolly so we can get a baseline to compare this to against the type stitch results. Oh, there it is, the basic lemon character taking a nice relaxation on the beach there. These are all beautiful images in my opinion. You know how much I like stuff like this. But let's go ahead, the sunglasses perch atop his head. Let's give that one a shot. The first one that I read off, paste that into Dolly. There we go, we got some uh, pretty sweet results. These are definitely more cartoony. This word right here is definitely making it more of like a 2D drawing, which I actually like because I don't see that a whole lot. 
This one's oddly, it's it's a little spicy, I'm not gonna lie. He's sort of like, I don't know, an interesting view of the lemon. I mean, it's not very explicit or anything, but it's a little implication there. <laughs> so all of you lemon lovers might like this one, but I, I like that, uh, you know, he's got his arms behind his head. It's definitely visible in most of these, although Dolly is combining his arm with his sunglasses. This one I really like. I like his little feet and stuff. Uh, this one's nice. I'm actually going to save this one for later as well. But yeah, most of these Dolly got pretty close, but it's clear, I think, um, of an improvement. You know, there's a little bit more character in there than just these basic ones. These are all 3D renders. These aren't so much, but if you don't mind that, I think they have a little bit more character. This one's definitely my favorite right here. Let's give this one a shot in Dream Studio. All right, Dream Studio is struggling with this one a little bit. I'm not going to lie. It might just be the prompt with a different prompt. You could get something better. But nevertheless, these are all pretty interesting results. But I don't think the Dream Studio is able to really capture that prompt as well. I think it's struggling a little bit. Let's try the glistening off of the skin one, the fourth one that I read out. Okay, so this one is also interesting. You can definitely see the sunshine. I don't know if you can so much see the skin glistening off of the lemon, but he's definitely re relaxing on the beach, wearing the sunglasses, arms folded across his chest. I don't know, not so much, not really seeing it. Again, I think this prompt is actually a little too detailed for the current text-to-image generators. Maybe a better, more complicated image generator could actually render this one a little bit better in the future. But nevertheless, you know, sun shining could be worse. This one's pretty funny. I like this. It's like a 3D render that's very crudely done. Maybe a little bit nostalgic even. It's not bad. Yeah, very interesting nonetheless. Let's finally give this sun and surf one a final shot. Okay, this one's a little bit interesting. I really like this one right here. This is like a whole logo. I like how it's like splash in the background, how coherent it is. He definitely looks like a cute little lemon character. This is really nice. I'm really, really liking this right here. Definitely going to be saving this one for later. And then the rest of these are all right. I mean, this is a little scary what's going on with his legs here. He's definitely having a good time, though. He's enjoying himself, at least, even though that's frightening. This one's very coherent as well, even though his arm is, you know, going into his body right there. But yeah, he's definitely enjoying himself. Looks like he's looking into the camera a little bit. And this one's also not too bad as well. I like the big, gigantic smile on this guy, and I like all of the different details and the art style with this one. So yeah, this prompt actually came out pretty darn decent, I think, for a type stitch here. So I think type stitch did a good job with this one. And I think all of them are definitely more interesting than that basic prompt that I input at the very least. So that was Type Stitch in its current form. I'd also like to mention this is a very important little piece of information. This is definitely not the final version of Type Stitch. The creator of Type Stitch, of course, as I said, he he was the one who reached out to me and said, "Do you want to make a video on this?" I said, "Yeah, I think it's interesting to bring into the AI community." But he told me that there are extra features that he wants to actually add onto this site. So it's definitely worth checking out, I think, again at some point in the future. Uh, he wants to build in an integrated image generator, which could be very interesting, probably something like Stable Diffusion, I'm sure all of you know. And he also wants to integrate stuff like t-shirt printing or merch printing um, into this website. So that could definitely, you know, add a lot. And he said that the, the credit system that is currently in place is uh, sort of meant to incorporate all of that stuff as well. So that could be a reason why it is more on the expensive end, but as of right now, I, I think it is expensive in its current form. If there was more features like he mentioned to me, you know, this is really the only, only the first step in the process of this site, then the credit system definitely would make a little bit more sense. Anyway, you guys, definitely check this one out. I think it's interesting to play around with at the very least, and it has a decent free trial. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Check out some of my other videos, and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Goodbye.